Having a conversation with myself. Probably one of the weirdest things I've ever done. Dear future me, so it's nice to meet you. I think we can say we know each other fairly well. You know we are the same person. You're just 10 or 20 years older than me, which would make you in your late 20s or early 30s. Holy sh you're old. I'm sorry if that offended you, that wasn't the purpose. Wow, this is really awkward. So, um, moving on. I guess there are just a few things that I want to ask you. I mean, you are me, so I think I deserve to know. The first question I have, of course, is probably the most important. Do you still love Channing Tatum? I mean, the age difference hasn't changed. He's still 17 years older than you. So if you're in your 30s, he could be either in his 40s or even his 50s. But who knows, 20 years from now, we could be married. Another thing I wonder about you, or me, is if we didn't marry Channing, who did we marry? He could possibly be sitting next to you right now watching this. I hope he's gorgeous. Not that that's the only thing that matters. It's the only thing that matters. Where are you living? Right now, if I had to choose any place I wanted to live, I would definitely choose California. So has that changed or are you living there? And you better keep your house clean. I don't know if you have kids or what, but that mess right there behind you, you better get on that. So kids. Two boys? I'm just guessing here. I always wanted to name my kids something really unique like Mac or Brady or Channing Jr. You better not have picked some everyday common name like Michael. I know it's flattering to keep a name in the family, but I'm sure dad will understand when you don't want to name your child Michael the third. So if you haven't had kids yet, it's just something to keep in mind. You know, I also really wonder what you look like. Are you tall? Do you have long hair? Are you pale or tan? You better be tan. Have you stopped biting your nails? I mean, it's a really bad habit, but I'm trying to stop. So basically what I'm trying to get at is, I hope you didn't f up. It all comes down to the choices you made. I mean, for all I know, you could be in jail right now. If that's the case, you're probably not watching this video. If you are in jail, it better not be for something stupid. It better be for like, I don't know, stealing 3,000 kittens from a pet store. Oh my God, you're a crazy cat lady, aren't you? I guess I really have some thinking to do. So I wanted to thank you for your time and having this conversation with me. Hopefully you're still as funny as you are now. I mean, let's face it, I'm pretty damn funny. So anyways, I guess I'll see you around. I'll just go look in a mirror or something. And to my future husband, you better treat her well and be hot. I mean, nice. And just one more thing. I'm not trying to cause any problems or anything between husband and wife, but who wears the pants in the relationship? some like a homeless disgusting man <sighs> hopefully you still look as good as you do now just kidding hopefully you look better I feel like in my house I'll have lots of candles I'll be like a candle hoarder at least my house will smell good